Hi everyone, welcome to day 34 of my 100 day challenge. We will be solving one of the SQL question asked in Microsoft Data Analyst interview. So let's see the question. Question says delete duplicate records but make sure to keep the distinct records for the below table. So we have the table where we have ID, name, salary, department, manager ID and the hiring date. Here we just need to find out the duplicate records first of all and then we need to delete all the duplicate records but we need to keep one record, one distinct record right. So if you see the data. So this data ls we only have one time in this data set. So this is going to be our distinct records. So this Bob, Charlie, David, Eva. So till here Franks so we only have one existence. So that means all these are distinct records. But if you see for this increase for this records we have three frequency here right. So these two frequencies are going to be duplicates and this is going to be our distinct records. So we need to delete these two records. So that we will be left with all the distinct records. So this is what we need to do. So let's see how we can solve this problem. So I'm going to launch page admin tool where I have already created the table and inserted the data. Now if you think you can solve this problem, you can pause the video, go to the video descriptions and download this data set from my GitHub repository and then create the table and try to solve by yourself. And if you can solve it, that's great. And otherwise you can continue the video and at the end you can share your approach as well. Okay. So I'm going to select this one, select everything from employees. So you can see we have all these records with these duplicates records. Okay. Now one thing you can see all these duplicates records have even the same ID, which is same user ID, same name, same salary and the department manager ID and the hiring date. So everything is same. So this is seems to be fine. Now let's see how we can solve this problem. So I'm going to use a simple approach called row number here to solve this problem. Now you can again use a multiple different approach, but to delete it, you will need to use this approach, which I'm going to use it. If you're using Postgres SQL. Okay. So I will be using row number with the CT approach here to solve this problem. Okay. So I'm just going to here. I'm just going to say comma, oops, comma, and uh, I will be using row number called row number. Okay. And uh, I would say over. And here I need to do a partition by each of the column because all the columns have the same records, right? So I would say partition by ID. Then I want to do a partition by name. Then I want to do partitions by salary. Then I want to do a partitions by department. Then I want to partitions by manager ID. And I want to do a partition by hiring date higher date okay lastly i will need to do an order by so i would just go ahead and say order by id okay s r n so i'm just saving it as a row number let's see so let's see if there's any spelling mistake department does not exist let's check the column name it's a department id so i will say department id let's run it now you can see we have done the partitioning and now you can see new row number is being created now this row number one is going to assign for the force record with all the same id same name and the salary if you see this id one has the name called alice salary and this department and the manager and the hiring date because we have done partition by all of this column so the force record will have the row number one if you have any other record with all the same id and name salary department and manager and hiring and everything then that the second record will get the row number two so luckily we do not have anything for this all this employee till here but if you see for grace so the first which is name see id name salary department manager and hiring that everything remains same so the first record will have the row number one okay because this is the first partitions right the second partition which is going to be this one that's going to get the row number two and the third partition that is this one that is going to row number three and the fourth one i mean only have three records okay so all these three records have the same name id that's the reason we have to do a partition by all this column now depending on the how many columns has the duplicates so you can define this partition by if you want to do a partition by one column or all the columns so it is advised that you do a partition by all of the columns if in case this id has a unique records so you can just ignore this one let me see how we can select all the distinct records so to select all the distinct records is going to be very easy you can say row number is one select everything from this table where row number is one right that is what we can use it so i can simply go ahead and here say that select i mean i am going to save it in a city so i would say with 
and I'm going to say with city s and I can put this table in this parenthesis so from this table I can select everything I can say select from this city e so that's going to give me everything but I will only select where r n equals 1 so that means I will have all the distinct records okay so we have already filtered out the data right but the thing is that we have not deleted the data so the data is not being deleted it just have filtered out right still if you see in the data table we will still have all the records because we have not deleted yet right so this is fine most of the time we just need to show this distinct records you can see these are the non duplicates records because we are only getting row number one that means each partitions will exist once here right for each partition we are not having the second record okay so this is using this approach you can solve the problem but thing is that if in case you need to delete it so what do you do so that is where we will need to use a different approach okay now what i will do here is that instead of selecting it here i can say something like this okay i will say here something called delete from employees okay and i would say where so here i can say where id in so here i will need to get the id for those records which i want to delete now if you just show this record again you can see it here for this right so wherever we have this row number is which is greater than one okay so for those i i want to delete the records right so here you can see id is uh, going to be this one right so i can say row number is greater than one so that is going to be if i say row number is greater than one i will have these three records only right these two records okay let me just show you i can go ahead and say select everything from cte above cte and uh, where rn greater than one okay so let me just run it here so if i just run it here it's only going to select those records where the row number is greater than one that means only these two records right so that means only these two record we want to delete it okay so there is a problem now the thing is that if you want to delete these two record in postgres sql usually you can use this id for microsoft sql server or other rdbms but for postgres you can if you use this id it's going to delete all the records where this id equals 7 which i'm going to show you now so let's say i write delete from employees okay i put this logic in here now here i can simply go ahead and say select id okay what i'm saying is if you just run this query so from this query i am saying hey just give me this id where this row number is greater than one so that means you will have two id so that's going to be seven and seven right so for this seven and seven okay so you will have the seven and seven two id at the moment we only have two duplicates so that is fine and i'm saying id in this so this is going to delete the records from the employee tables where the id is going to be seven but the thing is that we have this seven it's also going to delete the main records which is this one okay let me just show you so i will just go ahead and execute this query and uh, at the end i want to print a result so this one i'm going to close it here i would say select everything from this employees table let me just execute this query so you can see it so you can see it has deleted even that records where we had that uh, you know id which is in grace for seven see that record is gone okay so now how do you solve this problem okay so because this is the only approach you can use this approach to get the unique records you can use this approach to delete the records but for postgres sql here you see you are filtering by the id so that means we cannot use this id column okay so there is something else we need to use it so for that we call it something called ct id okay which is called uniquely identifier for each row so in postgres sql you have something called ct id so if i just show you here after this column if i just select ct id okay if i just run this query so each column has a ct id which is called uniquely identifier so this column the uniquely identifier the you can see the index number that's going to be this one which is 0 1 for this column this uniquely identifier is 0 2 for this column this is the uniquely identifier for this column this is the uniquely identifier even if this column and this columns are duplicate still they will have different ct id which is like the locations where this record is stored okay so i will just reinsert this duplicate again and to show you so let me just go ahead and execute it 
now we have the duplicates again okay so let me now go ahead and execute this query so now you can see here this is the records till here okay till here it's fine this grace is the unique records that has 0 and 1 that is the city id okay so this is the memory locations where this record is being stored okay that's called city id now if you see the second grace that got a different city id you can see it here right that this again the another grace that got another city id so that means instead of using this id i can use this city id this time because this is the uniquely identifier for each row because to delete it we need the uniquely identifier so what i can do here is that i can simply go ahead and select one more record here okay so i will do select everything along with that i will also select city id city id okay so i'm selecting the city id and uh, and i'm using everything else the same okay now here what i will do i would say select the city id okay city id I would say select city ID from city table where Rn is greater than 1 and here I will compare with, with ID city ID so if I just now execute this query let's execute this query okay I see two records deleted okay so that I will I will explain it later on now if I just show you this result you see now one grace is left out okay which is this one we still have the eight records now this duplicates records are gone okay let's see what is happening here let's see the order of executions here so if you want to understand the order of executions what we are saying is like we are selecting everything from the table but we are creating a new column called city id so in that column we are assigning each row and new unique records unique values okay unique identifier identifier for each row okay now this unique identifier is going to be the same so what we are saying here is that we rest everything remains same if i just run it if you see here is that this row number remain 111 one, one, because at the moment we do not have the duplicates if i just reinsert the records you will see it here okay, let me just reinsert the records see i have reinserted the records now i am just going to execute this from here to here so you can see I am selecting all this employee so every employee have everything remain same here so that means the first row is given to the unique records the second row is given to non unique records right and third row is given to non unique records so at the end what we are saying delete everything from this table where this city ID is this and this now how we are saying this and this we are saying where this row number is greater than 2 greater than 1 so that means if row number is greater than 1 we will have these two records right if we have one more duplicates records so that one will also have the row number greater than one maybe in any names okay so we are deleting using something called city id okay we're using this approach so this is the only approach that you can use to delete records in postgres sql this also works for other you know rdbms as well okay so this is how we are deleting it now if you want to see the records where the city id is where the row number is greater than one if you want to city id want to see everything so you can just run it here let's say i want to see everything okay all the records where the row number is greater than one okay now here i'm saying select everything from where row number is greater than one so let's see you see i'm getting these two records okay so these two records i'm getting now i cannot delete by this id because if i say delete everything where id is seven it's going to delete the original records also but here i can see delete everything where city id is this so every record will have a different city id so this is how i will be able to delete the records so this is what i have done here to solve this question that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you have any other different approach to solve this problem in postgres sql do let me know in the comment box have a good day see you tomorrow take care bye bye